Well, back to a story we told you about earlier in this newscast. Many Spokane families are starting from scratch, finding specialized therapy for kids with autism. Their service provider was forced to close their doors, and now they say it's a bigger issue affecting families across Washington State. New on Nightside, Aranya Kaur explains. For 15-year-old Delia, her mom Sarah says Ascend Academy was where she belonged. I, you know, breathed a big sigh of relief because I was finally getting, you know, uh, my daughter kind of the services that she need. I thought needed, I thought, at the time. Ascend Academy was a nonprofit in North Spokane, operating through SOAR Behavior Services. It provided ABA or Applied Behavior Analysis, a specialized therapy for autism. It was like a final, like, oh, finally something. They're able to work with her. She's got a one-on-one, -on -one, smaller class sizes. So I was super excited. SOAR Behavior Services in Spokane and Ascend Academy officially closed earlier this month. And it just feels like, like the rug was kind of ripped out from under us and we're left not knowing what to do next. This has been a an ongoing issue with really the state of Washington. Um, Washington really just doesn't pay enough for Medicaid uh, for ABA therapy for autism therapy. Jim Matthews is the executive director for SOAR Behavior Services. He says Washington hasn't changed how much Medicaid pays for autism therapy in years. When the state doesn't provide adequate funding for it, it becomes impossible to continue operating. Matthews is trying to make a change in Olympia. The governor's budget uh, proposed a 15 to 20 percent increase in rates for ABA therapy. Now that might sound like a good number, but if you consider rates have never gone up since 2014, 15 to 20 percent honestly is not enough. While SOAR and Ascend's doors remain closed, Sarah Crump is forced to start over. So I need to be positive, but I'm also terrified for like what the rest of the year is going to look like at a school um, downtown without those supports. It's, it's just a lot of um, figuring out all over again, starting all over again, which is just heartbreaking. In Spokane, Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.